Hi guys, this is uh, Kurt, Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox. By the end of this video you will know how to eliminate the white noise in single sideband. And uh, white noise in single sideband will be something from the past. Um, first of all, let me tell you that you can use this uh, specific uh, AI software. So we are going to use a artificial intelligence software that is going to eliminate the white noise. This has, uh, is another approach than these noise reduction systems that are out there. And uh, you can do this with any radio. It doesn't matter whether you have a SDR capable radio or you have an old Kenwood or Yezu. As long as you have a receive on your radio of 2.9 kilohertz in single sideband and you have some uh, white noise floor, uh, you can eliminate it completely by using a particular software. Now, let me just also explain to you that um, this is software that is uh, currently available to everybody but you need to have a username and a password and you can only get it uh, when you install the software it will uh, give you a email address and this is where you can uh, get this software uh, access or this server access the guy is uh, Randy uh, Randy Williams and he is actually the guy who is uh, creating uh, this uh, or created this software he's uh, not not ham operator <laughs> his dad is so uh, he probably is having fun in doing some programming that's what he told me and I really hope from the bottom of my heart that uh, the people who write the Tati software and other SDR capable radios uh, softwares uh, that they actually implement this particular artificial intelligence software so basically how it works is you try to capture the output of your radio uh, the SSB signal that you get at 2.9 kilohertz you will have to send it to a server uh, and uh, William is server is located in Texas he is going to do the filtering and he's gonna send back the filtered uh, version of your signal so it's a loop and uh, what you have to do is capture the audio from the uh, radio send it over come back and it will be played back through the speakers of your so uh, of your uh, computer um, now, how do you capture this uh, audio uh, from your single sideband trans uh, receive? Well, it's very simple. If you have a simple old school radio, which is not an SDR radio, you probably need something like this. And you connect one side to the headphone jack of your radio, and the other side you put it at the input of your computer uh, sound blaster card uh, or your. Um, input uh, of the microphone whatever and then you need to adjust everything so the audio is not overdriving and then you send it out now the software that we are using for uh, this matter is called RM noise and you can find it right here let me just make my screen smaller no need to see my face but uh, here you can uh, find the uh, software um, on this website it's called rnet place.com slash rm minus noise uh, so this is the place where you need to download the software it is currently only available for windows it uh, does not uh, exist as far as i know for uh, linux or for uh, mac or apple uh, machines so once you download it it's the normal standard procedure to start the software after the installation you will probably be confronted with a login screen and this is where you actually have to send an email um, to uh, Randy and uh, request a access. He is giving access right now to the software and to the server. Now uh, to be honest with you I don't know how long, how many um, um, how many people it will get access to um, and I know that currently it's a beta version so it's all free of charge is he going to um, charge you for the use of the service? I don't know. This is something that is up to Randy himself because you're actually using processing power of Randy's computer uh, back in Texas. And uh, I, I think it's you know logical that probably in the long run he might just start to uh, request some you know um, little fee on a monthly or yearly basis so you can use the service. Now, in this, uh, at this moment, at this stage uh, of this video, we are in the beginning of September, 
2023 it is free of charge now once you've downloaded the software and installed it and you started it and you have your username and password you will get this particular screen so let me just start the software i need to have a look from here and it's called rm noise and you get this kind of a screen and once you have the the, the software starting it will open a little dos box and this is the software how it looks like okay now uh, let me just minimize my browser here uh, on this particular computer I am using Tetis my um, radio is not a traditional radio I'm using the SDR radio Hermes light 2 the people who know me they know that I've been uh, you know using this radio now very recently uh, and the software I'm using uh, this uh, radio with is called Tetis okay now basically if you have the interface uh, you will have something like uh, some kind of waterfall right here or yeah I can call it a waterfall um, or an analyzer uh, you will see actually um, how much input audio you're sending to the server but before you can do that you of course have to go uh, to the options menu and you have to select the input signal so if you have your microphone as an input now I have a little bit of a special setup because this is a virtual audio cable which has this name here uh, but basically uh, if you have a, a microphone input you probably have to select one of the microphone inputs if you're using this kind of a, a, um, a solution or if you are using something like Tetis you should probably select uh, your output device and you need to capture the same output device uh, here uh, so you can send it to the right um, voice channel or audio channel in your windows uh, automatically when you send and you start to send the signal it will come back and it will be played back to your default um, audio playback device in your windows settings so there is no possibility in the uh, software here to choose one of the specific output devices on your computer if you've got different speakers connected to your computer you probably have to go quickly into your windows settings and then you need to actually select the default um, output device over there now uh, let me just uh, first of all not engage the software so I'm going to you know not engage it I'm not gonna send my signal and I'm just gonna listen to my Tetis software and you will see what we have as a receive um, before I will start this here um, let me tell you that um, there are different SDR radios and as far as I've heard from other ham operators I don't want to step on somebody's toes but apparently those people who have been using the TT software because some people they have the Anon radio the TT software is compatible with either Anon or the Hermes Lite uh, those who have uh, the TT oh, sorry the uh, SDR radio and have different ones and then compare the TT software with other applications or other softwares like the Flex radio and uh, the uh, Sun SDR um, anon anonymously I found out that they tell me that the Tetis software is way superior with the noise reduction now we're not going to use noise reduction we're gonna replace the noise reduction of this particular software with the artificial intelligence software but let me just show you how the noise reduction version number two and R2 sounds like on a traditional Tetis software and once we've done that I will go and engage the uh, RM noise uh, software and use the artificial intelligence now just to let you know and you will see in the result once you have the uh, RM noise uh, artificial intelligence engaged you will see that I can bring back the um, white noise on single sideband to virtually zero uh, so I will eliminate without having artifacts or like weird noises like I would say computerized noises because of the filtering that you have in the traditional uh, noise reduction system like the one here uh, of, of, of Tetis itself now let me turn it on and I probably have to bypass
Now you can you can see that uh, currently. Let me just do it the other way around. So you can actually see that there is nothing happening in this waterfall here. It's because I by bypass and I, I I do not send the signal. But um, you can see um, that um, okay, the signals are not that strong. So let me just uh, listen again. And uh, once I've done that and showed you how the noise reduction number two sounds on the Tati software. Then we're gonna see and compare it to the artificial intelligence. Okay, so this is how it sounds with the noise reduction number two and you hear like uh, I would say a chemical kind of a style of an audio that is coming back through the noise reduction number two so you can see that there is some processing and computerization going on uh, computing going on I would say uh, when you listen to the sound now if you want to fully use the uh, RM noise reduction uh, software you have to disable any kind of uh, digital signal processing uh, because you need to send the raw signal straight away into the uh, RM software. Now be aware that when you do that uh, you also have to uh, if you send it to the software here you always have to tune a little bit the uh, audio input and this is where this waterfall here comes in handy because it will indicate if you have or you're pushing the audio too strong too strong into the software or not. So let me just turn on <coughs> So I am going to engage it right now. Let me go to the software options and uh, let me bring this uh, window here. And of course I need to listen to the signal source and I need to send the signal from my source. I am not going to bypass because this is just to bypass the AI system. That is done and the next thing I am going to do is uh, bring up this slider and when you bring it up to the top you will have virtually no white noise anymore. CQ, CQ, Mike, Stroke, Papa, Alpha 1, Shera, Victor, Mike, Mobile. Mike, Stroke, Papa, Alpha 1, Shera, Victor, Mike, Mobile. CQ, 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 Mike, Stroke, Papa, Alpha 1, Shera, Victor, Mike, Mobile. Mike, Stroke, Papa, Alpha 1, Shera, Victor, Mike, Mobile. CQ, Alpha. So you can see, let me just mute this, so you can see I've got some QRM from uh, the agent frequency, I'm going to choose another frequency, but you can see that the uh, white noise is completely eliminated and the audio uh, that comes back from the artificial intelligence system is free of all these artifacts and digitalized uh, noises, so it really looks and sounds very natural. Let me switch between uh, with and without the, the uh, artificial intelligence, okay? Okay. 
up a run with Wick Dark, and I'm like Charlie, and Mike Dove and Charlie Kilo right now, sorry. Yeah, it's all about Chow Chow. So I clicked a few times between, uh, you know, um, let me just mute it. Uh, I clicked a few times between, uh, you know, engaging the artificial intelligence filter and disabling. And I did that on purpose so you can see what is the delay. So the delay is really minimal. Uh, I don't see any issue with uh, uh, this, ish this uh, setup. Let me see, because I have a mosquito in my room <laughs> and I don't want to be bitten at night. So is that. Anyway, uh, so this is uh, the RM noise filter. Um, I, I really hope that these guys who are writing the Teti software are going to contact uh, uh, Randy, and uh, it will uh, they will look together to maybe implement this software into uh, the Teti software, even if there is a subscription basis later on, which is understandable. Uh, I would really find it absolutely insane. By the way, Randy, his uh, father is Kilo5, Quebec Echo, that's his call sign. I just wanted to mention this in this uh, little video. And uh, let me know if you have, if you own, I just want to have your opinion, okay? If you are a Flex Radio owner and you have also the Hermes Lite 2, not the Hermes, but the Teti software, just tell me in the. Uh, uh, comment section what you think uh, compared both because I, as I told you I don't want to step on somebody's toes because you know everybody is proud about their own station and their, their own software and all that kind of stuff but apparently uh, this is the feedback that I got from a couple of stations that I've been able to contact before and that are using the uh, software. I'll bring I'll make a few more videos regarding the Hermes Lite regarding, regarding the Ceft software, the Tati software so you don't have to go through the pain that I had to go through and you can quickly uh, uh, use the Tati software in a uh, perfect way. So thanks for uh, tuning in and leave us a thumbs up and I hope to see you somewhere in the, one of the live streams in the future. Um, thanks for coming uh, and uh, watch this video. Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox signing off and thank you very much. Bye bye.